morning guys, it's Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> best I can do. The thing is, I didn't hang out with goths nor was I a goth. I hung out with people who people thought were goths, but they were like punk rocker wannabes-ish. No offense to anyone, it's just, you know, generally, stereotypically, that is what they went for. It's really hot in here so I'm taking this off. I literally just got in the door and um, I was an hour later than I thought I would be at work. Uh, so he wanted to see this video. Unfortunately, it's not going to be up to par as I initially wanted it to be, nor anyone else who even wanted it to be. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any black clothing. I have three black shirts and this jacket, which is definitely too small for me now. There's a hurl. Um, it was a Hurley shirt, but the person who made it doesn't like corporations. She made the shirt and she gave it to me. So thank you, Martha. Um, you were totally in the wrong, I already told you this, but I was excited when Nathan started talking about this and unfortunately I didn't get to go to the store, so I can't, I wasn't able to prepare myself for this. Um, and I don't know why I'm really talking th th this fast. Um, but anyway, um, it was David's birthday Thursday and see like parts of the decorations. Batman tape. Also, I'm leaving my apartment decorated minus the happy birthday banner, but I really love the ceiling. So I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if you can see all of these. The entire apartment was covered in balloons. Martha's allergic to latex and we had forgotten this and she had blown up a lot of the balloons. By this time my apartment was filled with the aroma of latex. Um, so I put all the balloons in my closet. And then the next morning I had to get ready for work and I couldn't find my belt so I took out the sword that my boyfriend gave me and I started stabbing them. And then we realized it was too early in the morning to be popping balloons because my neighbors probably hate me now. Those are remnants of balloons. About QC, um, I look like Faye. I look like Faye minus having double hips. Um, my appetite is the same as hers um, for food. I look like her. Glasses, red hair, look like her. Um, unfortunately, I'm also skinny, so thus I am Dora in Martha's eyes. Nathan, I think, looks like uh, Faye's love interest-ish. Um, his name is... Eh, I don't remember his name. Um, Nathan, I'm sorry you had a bad day at the Mac store. I do understand. We deal with customers like that all the time. Um, who I'm sure will go home and hate us, but I still think you guys should have fought for it. It looks so peaceful. Look at how slow those are moving. I feel like it's slow motion because of those. It just looks so sweet. How can you not like my apartment? It's just nice and lovely and welcoming and... Okay, also, I got my grades. And um, I got all passes and A's and B's, and so that's good. Also, I wanted to talk about things that bug us. Like at work, I hate it when people refer to AIM as AIM, or just in general, no one should say AIM. No, it's just AIM. Don't spell it out. I hate it when people misspell things. Um, particularly acquisition seems to be a very popular one that all my managers cannot spell. They always forget the C. In acquisition, they put A Q U I blah blah blah, blah and it bugs me. <laughs> if you're in a manager position, you should know how to spell at least acquisition. Acquisition! A C Q U I S I T I O N. How hard is it? Also, let's see, HTML. At work, I actually got someone who said Hatmill. Yes, HTML. It's not like AIM. You have to spell this out. Don't try to make it a word. It's not a word. There's no vowels. Another one is URL. Another one that some people I've met make this a word. They say URL. And once again, it is not a word. I don't know where you're getting this. What things bug you guys? Nathan, Martha, everyone who watches this. Just let us know what bugs you and 
We'll see what happens. I'm trying to activate participation here between all of us and kind of make it congruent. Congruent? Congruent. Have a good day, everyone. Um, Martha, I will see you by Tuesday. And, um, yes. Oh, bye.